Florida A&M University suspended all football activities because of the video you see on your screens. The artist, Real Boston Richie, shot the music video in FAMU's locker room. The team's logo was easily identifiable throughout, as well as members of the team who appeared in it. USA Today reported it was filmed inside the field house. Seeing this angered head coach Willie Simmons, who told NBC News in a statement the video contained graphic language that is not consistent with Florida A&M's core values, principles, and beliefs. Although I am a proud proponent of free speech and support all forms of musical expressions, this football team, as ambassadors of Florida A&M University, has a responsibility to protect the university's image. Some saw this and posted a music video that was shot at the University of Oregon. Another Oregon video saw Brian McAndrew use the Ducks' home stadium plus their mascot and cheerleaders in a song titled Return of the Quack. Simmons, however, does not feel the same as Oregon. They will learn from this mishap, he said, and we will continue to work hard every day to become the best version of ourselves and continue to make Rattler Nation proud. Thus, Simmons and the administration has banned its players from the team's facilities after a rap video featuring some Rattlers was shot in their locker room without proper permission being granted. The only exception is players who need medical treatment from doctors and athletic trainers, he said. Simmons added he would meet players who were visible in the video over the weekend, and a team meeting will be had. We'll determine at that point if more severe penalties need to be handed down, he said. Meanwhile, real Boston Richie is well known in the area. He performed at homecoming and even led the team out of the tunnel for one game. Let me tell you, Boston Ritchie is Tallahassee's guy. You know, it was T-Pain, but T-Pain lives in Atlanta now. Right now, it's Boston Ritchie. Last year, Boston Ritchie brought Future down, who's a good friend of his. They were on records together. He brought Future down, and they visited the malls, which was a fiasco with it itself. You know, it went to the big mall. Went and bought tons of shoes, not cheap shoes, the the, the, the best shoes out there and took them to the housing projects in Tallahassee and, and distributed those shoes. So I'm not surprised that the players were uncharacteristically lulled into being a part of this because he's just a figure that's always there. One more note via CBS Sports. FAMU has launched an investigation into how the football locker room was accessed for filming of the video, which was posted to YouTube and shows Richie in the locker room wearing a Florida A&M shirt and donning the team helmets. Several FAMU players appear in the background of the video. The unauthorized use of FAMU apparel and logos violates licensing agreements. It is unclear whether the suspension will impact the start of training camp or players are set to report on August the 2nd. Simmons is scheduled to appear with two members of the team at the Southwestern Athletic Conference's Media Day on Tuesday in Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, let me just go over a few things. I think what they are doing is trying to cover their asses because you heard from the previous statements made that it violates their licensing policy. So that is something. Accessing team facilities without an agreement and then distributing it is also a violation. I understand why they would be upset about that. However, to say that they don't support the expressions and words and the mantra of whatever the lyrics may be of that song, yet FAMU, simultaneously, to have this artist leave their team out of the tunnel, a bit hypocritical. Songs could vary over the years. Fully understand that. It seems like he has been the non-official ambassador of this team. So to say that you don't put your stamp of approval on this person's music, yet you allow him to lead your team out of the tunnel, that is sheer hypocrisy. I'm sorry. These players being suspended from all football activities and suspending football activities altogether, wrong. A wrong decision. Maybe discuss with them why it is important to not do certain things and be okay with certain things and the permissions that need to be allotted in order for you to do certain things. Fine. But to suspend everybody 
from that football team seems wrong. And now, with Media Days coming up, I guarantee you this will be the topic of conversation from the media.